I myself have been in law enforcement, civil service for 29, almost 30 years now, okay? Um, I did most of my career down at the Mecklenburg County Sheriff's Office and then uh, decided I wanted to change, okay? And came to CMPD in August to do something different. I'm, I'm too young to, in my opinion, retire, okay? Um, but too old to be out there uh, in uniform but I still wanted to serve. I still wanted to serve, and CMPD in, in Mecklenburg County is home for me, so best way for me to do it is to come to CMPD and see that uh, my daughter was here. I uh, kind of reached out to her to see what communications was like, and she enjoyed it, so I said, hey, let me give it a try, and I'm here. <laughs> yeah, it didn't take much to convince her, though. Um, she's very, uh, like she said, community-based, so it was just letting her know you know, how much I enjoyed helping people over the phones, and that's all it took. And she, to be what we call the calm and the chaos, um, it's a good feeling to know that you actually help someone. It's a good feeling when someone is having their worst day, and then by the end of the call, you can tell that you made them feel better. Um, so for me, it was a no-brainer. Like, I told her, I said, hey, like, I know that you like to help. She likes to help just as much as I do, and she wanted to relax. She was more on the front-hand side of, you know, call it the combat side, <laughs> but she was more on that side and I told her, you know, you want to relax, but you still want to help. It was the perfect place for her to come. We always sit beside each other, <laughs> so she'll call me in and she's like, hey, if you're on 911, save me a seat and vice versa. If she gets here before me, I have her save me a seat, but um, it's kind of been... She teaches me. Right, right. It's kind of, it gets a little weird sometimes because I'm, I was under her at the sheriff's office and now... I'm kind of a little over her, not over her per se, but I'm a trainer, so, you know, she asks me questions, and of course I help, not because she's my mom, but because, you know, we're coworkers. Um, but yeah, that's been a transition in itself, to have her asking me the questions instead of me asking her the questions. But we have a friendly, very friendly relationship, so it's like being at work with my friend, my best friend, so I, I like it. I wouldn't have it any other way. The mm -hmm. best part of my job is, is that I'm about to cry. Oh Lord, don't do it. You're gonna make me cry. I get to see it. Mm -hmm. I get to see all of my efforts mm -hmm. and how well she's driving and her serving the community and all of the sacrifices that we had to make to get her here. I get to see it firsthand. Thank you, CMPD. Right. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you for, CMPD. you know. I'm enjoying it. Yeah. I am enjoying it. I am. I enjoy um, watching the opportunity to see my child grow mm -hmm. and thrive. So thank you, CMPD. Um, I, I wish people knew what the, the compassion that's in that room mm -hmm. in serving the community. Mm -hmm. I wish people knew the that it's not just a job, right. okay? And that the people that are serving the community really, really care mm -hmm. about the community. And sometimes those calls that we get, they don't understand the dynamics mm -hmm. of, of the applications of what we do. And they can't see from the back end the amount of care that goes into serving the community. I wish the community could see the people and how much they care about what they're doing for the community. Oh. A lot of tears behind that phone. A lot, yeah, of, a lot of tears behind that phone. Behind I think phones. that's what I want people on the outside to realize. Like as much as they're crying on their end, half the time we're crying on our end as well. It's not it's not one sided and we feel their pain and we try to help as best we can.